News Update. I'm Tracy Hutchins. CBS 46 is your vaccine team. Pfizer says its coronavirus vaccine will soon be available for almost every school aged child. The company plans to submit data to the FDA on how its shot works in children 5 to 11 years old. Pfizer CEO says that should be done by the end of this month or possibly the first week of October. Atlanta Public Schools is expanding enrollment in its virtual academy as COVID cases surge in schools. Applications are being accepted now through October 15th. The lottery will be held on November 5th. District officials made the decision after COVID outbreaks at Booker T. Washington and Frederick Douglass High Schools. Meanwhile, city schools of Decatur will soon require its employees to be vaccinated against the coronavirus. District employees have until the end of October to get the shot or file an exemption. If those exemptions are approved for staff, they'll have to get a daily COVID test provided by the district. Governor Brian Kemp issued a statement about this mandate saying it violates his executive order banning mandates by public entities. Tonight, TikTok responding to CBS 46 about the so-called devious lick challenge infiltrating Georgia schools. Yesterday, we showed you those videos of students stealing and destroying school property, then posting it online. After our story aired, TikTok responded, saying they're now removing the content and redirecting hashtags to discourage the destructive behavior. In a statement, TikTok says, in part, we expect our community to stay safe and create responsibly, and we do not allow content that promotes or enables criminal activities. We have showers in the forecast. It's been a rainy Wednesday. That rain will continue overnight with wet weather for tomorrow morning's commute. So as you plan your Thursday morning, grab an umbrella, allow extra driving time. We will see some rain heavy at times, especially south and east of I-85. It will also be cloudy and dreary and cooler with that rain during the first half of the day. By the afternoon, the rain will be a little more scattered and then we'll keep it scattered through the rest of the work week and into the weekend. Temperatures staying on the cool side, highs in the 70s on Thursday and Friday, highs near 80 this weekend, a 50% chance of rain Saturday, a 40% chance of rain on Sunday. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.